The following program is a special presentation of the Big Ten Network, produced in association with Michigan State University. I think a lot of people think when you go to a poor country that you're going to see a lot of like crazy stuff. It's not too bad. It really isn't too bad. You see a lot of the common stuff, but it's just kind of gone out of control a little bit because of the lack of the primary care and the follow-up care that they get. I felt like when I got here, I was prepared for life in Africa and people living on a daily basis, but I wasn't prepared for sickness in Africa. If you leave and come back, I think every time it will sh shock you or surprise you. The lady I just saw drove eight hours to get here. And so we're going to give her our best. The hardest thing is the dusty roads because the air conditioner broke down on the bus. So we can't open the windows, it gets too dusty, and the air gets too hot. So but besides that, looks like we're doing all right. We're on the road to Amachuco. So I'm not sure exactly <laughs> where we are. Some village. But glad to be off the bus for a little bit, for sure. Yeah. We're almost at 10,000 feet. Our almost. destination is Huamachuco, and um, I really don't know how long, much longer it's going to take, but I'm sure it's going to get bumpier. I've never really felt like I've traveled this far before. It took a long time to get here. That's a banana. <laughs> it does taste like an apple. What it is tastes it? like an apple? Yeah, they're called apple bananas. Yeah, they're called apple bananas. They're delicious. It's a little bit of a tough ride up. This year we took a detour. We normally don't, and uh, a few people got sick, but uh, we'll be all right. We've had our share of gastrointestinal maladies and and long, bumpy bus rides, and sometimes with a, a perilous uh, look down. The traveling was longer than I expected. It was a, a long travel from the flight to the different bus rides. It's been a, a tough road to get here, I'll say that. Well, we just arrived at the Rotary Clinic in Wamachuco, where we'll be spending the next five days delivering health care services. Hey guys, we watch out, watch out, anybody, We brought all the medications in, uh, bringing them in our suitcases from the United States, and we will be unpacking them and organizing the pharmacy this morning, or this afternoon. They explode on impact. No, they don't. <laughs> So that we could uh, be ready for the patients when they arrive at 8 a.m. tomorrow. You can take these from me right now. You can just drop them. Yep. Go for it. We came a long ways, and we've had a great time the first few days learning about Peru. But uh, this is why we're here, and it's it's really a privilege to be here. Do you get more address? Whoops. I'm just drop them here for now. They'll actually be arriving about 7 a.m or earlier, but we'll uh, open the clinic at 8 a.m. and start seeing our patients. So when we first got here, we had a lot of suitcases. We broke it all apart and then put it all on the shelves. Very exciting. Uh, it's even more exciting tomorrow morning when you arrive and you see the, the lines of patients waiting to, to be seen. Right now, I'm going to go in the pharmacy and, and take about uh, 20 suitcases out of the uh, pharmacy. So we can get in there and start loading the shelves with our, our drugs and medications and supplies. 